It's your third date with a girl you've been talking to for the past month, and now you guys are on your way back to your place for some post-date action. You're nervous because you don't want to screw it up and you don't want her to think you're some noob who doesn't know what he's doing. And if you mess it up, then you know that's the end of you guys seeing each other. Luckily for you, today I'm going to teach you the three things you need to do before sex to get the green light and give her your D game. I mean your A game. Number one, clean your bedroom. You don't want to bring the girl back to a pigsty with leftover food and empty bottles and porn magazines lying around everywhere. Wait, do people still read porn magazines? It's 2017, bro. See, having a dirty-ass room will definitely turn her off immediately and will make her a hundred times less likely to have sex with you because, to her, your room is an extension of you. If your room is disgusting, then she's only going to assume that you're disgusting, too. On the other hand, if she walks in there and it looks awesome, then it helps keep the mood up and it's a lot more likely something will happen. For any of you guys who got dragged into Fifty Shades of Grey, first of all, I feel your pain, bro. And second, you honestly think that if a girl had walked into his house and there had been Dorito stains and candy wrappers lying around, she would have been impressed enough to still do all that shit with him? Well, she probably would have anyway because he was a millionaire, but come on, I'm trying to prove a point here. So before she comes over, make sure you clean all the garbage and nastiness from your room. Make your bed so you appear organized, even if you aren't. And vacuum to make sure the Easter Bunny isn't in the dusty-ass corner of your room. Also, be sure to spray your room with some air freshener so it doesn't smell like shit when she walks in. Pro tip! Spray one, only one, pump of cologne on your bed by your pillow and blanket area. So even if you come back and it's worn off by a long day out, it'll give her the illusion that you still smell good. Number two, hygiene. Before you date, you should definitely shower, brush your teeth, put on deodorant, and all that good stuff to make sure you're fresh and clean. Be sure to buy breath mints or gum beforehand so you can have them handy throughout the date. It's also crucial to shower and clean yourself up before so you can start off with a clean slate of cleanliness instead of going on a date eight hours after your last shower and showing up all sweaty. Since I am a god and I always do god shit, like flying around the galaxy at the speed of light, for example, I tend to be sweaty pretty often. So to make sure my sack stays fresh and clean for Aphrodite, Athena, and all the other goddesses I slay on a regular basis... I like to use a body powder down there. One brand that works really well is Chassis. Chassis is the powder I put on my godly crotch to keep it nice and dry and fresh smelling throughout the day. This shit is incredible at keeping you fresh and odor free throughout the day. And it's especially good at preventing swamp ass. Now, the reason this works is because it's the only body powder in the universe that's hydrophobic. Yeah, I know that sounds like some Optimus Prime Transformer shit, but that's why it works so well. You never have to worry about your balls itching or sweating up inside your underwear ever again because this powder stays working all day and night. It also helps prevent any irritation and chafing. So if you've ever gotten irritated from your junk rubbing up against your leg, it'll work for that too. And don't think you can just go out and buy any old baby powder or medicated powder and it'll do the same thing because it won't. I thought the same thing, but when I tried chassis out, my meatball men were back where they belonged, flying freely and odor-free between my legs as opposed to stuck to my legs. The ingredients they use might as well have been made here on Mount Olympus. It has baking soda to prevent odor, aloe to soothe your skin, and it's talc-free because talc has some reported health concerns, and it stays in powder form and doesn't get all pasty like regular powder does. You always want to make sure your junk stays fresh and clean for when it's time to do the ground and pound. Trust me, you do not want a girl to pull your underwear off and smell your junk funk. It is literally the opposite of sexy and you will kill the mood. So, I highly recommend ordering yourself some ball powder and trying it out. Check the link in the description for my recommendation. Number 3. Shave Make sure you shave everywhere before sex to make sure you're not stabbing her in the face with your stubble when you're kissing. The first thing she'll notice when she sees you is your face, so make sure you shave that shit so you're looking fresh and clean. If you have a beard, then trim it to make sure it looks well kept and put together. After all, she's going to be looking at your face a lot if you guys are going to be in bed together, and most girls actually like to look at a guy's face during the act. So if she rolls up to your bedroom and you're looking like Rick from Season 5 of The Walking Dead, then there's no way you're going to be getting any. This goes without saying, but 100% make sure you shave or at least trim your pubes, shaft, and sack beforehand so she doesn't have to trek through the Amazon to get things started. I have a whole video on shaving with an instructional animation of exactly how to shave it that I'll have linked on the screen. But basically, use an electric trimmer instead of a razor to avoid irritation and take off the attachment so it cuts as low as possible and that's it. Really simple. 
Girls don't like it when a guy has a bigger bush than they do. <laughs> Be sure to finish up by popping on some ball powder from Chassis afterwards. And you're ready to get down to the business of the bedroom. And if you want to check out Chassis, and I recommend you do, then click the link in the description for the special Based Zeus certified link. Hope all these tips helped you. Try them out and leave a comment letting me know if they work for you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the Based Olympian Army right now. And hit the link in the description to try out some chassis powder right now.